here at Future Music Camp uh, with uh, Ulysses uh, Hupauf uh, from uh, the uh, artist uh, management company Odyssey Music Network. Uh, so hi Ulysses and it's great to have you on. How's it going? Thank you. Very good. Thanks for having me. Uh, so let's talk about Odyssey Music. Uh, uh, so when did you set up the company and, and how, did, how did it all start out? I worked for Universal and for Sony for a little bit more than 10 years and then um, I decided to go my own way and I started up a management company to manage artists, mainly Apocalyptica in the beginning um, and from that I transformed the company into more of a service independent music service company where I have several elements which can always serve the artists we represent in management better. That's what Odyssey is. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, so some of the, one of the things that we talked about on the show quite a bit is the ch evolving the role of management and management becoming a hub for the artist, uh, uh, providing a lot of services that maybe labels are not willing or able to provide anymore. Also, as certain things become more relevant, like social media and uh, you know, um, direct to fan and that kind of stuff. Uh, so how, how, do you, how do you take that, that and uh, how can you evolve as management to, to be able to serve all these things without going crazy, basically? Because, you know, it's a, lot, it's a lot of things to take care of. Well, I think that management completely changed in the last 10 years uh, from being the spokesperson for a band and the label will do the decision and delivers all the service to basically the center of making the decisions and sometimes you know even need to fund findings for uh, fundings for it and um, run campaigns and have a master plan there while no one else would develop one so yep. all of a sudden i think management is in the role that um, they have to they have to create artist careers find the right people for it and not rely on any of the others to do so but do it yourself yeah, and what, what do you think? Uh, another type of company that's sort of sp springing up in the last few years, which is uh, taking a good, ro an important role, especially as management has to off offlay some of their their responsibility as well, is labor relations services as well, which uh, can manage anything from a, you know a pledge campaign to uh, you know to take on some of the sort of load of uh, of uh, managers, for example. So, do you think that's a useful tool for for you, or would you rather it be more centralized? Mm, well. In one way, I think that's exactly what we offer. We, ha we have, you know, uh, everything built around artist management, but then we offer label services okay. to release records and market those records. We do that with other independent artists, which we don't represent in management. We do it for international labels, for GSA or for mainland Europe. Um, we have a consulting unit where we have things like Pledge, well, while we just meet here. Um, we represent Pledge, do a lot of work for Pledge, which helps our artists as well. Um, we have a publishing unit, which works with Universal, which, you know, delivers a lot of the publishing assets to it. So we have a, a, um, a producer management side of things where we have access to studios and producers for it. So th that's ex kind of exactly the system and idea what we're having. Yeah, yeah of course. And uh, looking at the sort of German music music scene, um, of course, if you look at the stats in Germany, physical is still very, very important. And so, uh, uh, but that's uh, in a way a, a little bit problematic, especially if you have a campaign where you want to that you want to bring more independently and without you know the aids of of, of major labels uh, so uh, what are the tools here in germany for for an independent artist for example to distribute a physical record in an effective way that so that they can still make money of it true on one hand very luckily physical is very strong still yeah. in germany there's a great infrastructure on distribution and especially on on um, shops to sell music um, we have a good infrastructure of independent distribution companies. Um, major distribution companies also opened up more for indies to come in to do distribution for them. So the old saying that the major record label controls distribution, it's not true anymore. We, we see more and more that big independent artists go with independent distribution and ha are as successful, sometimes even su more successful than they were when they were with, with uh, majors. But they play a role and the majors play a role there because the distribution systems they have are very, very strong and valid. Yeah, and uh, in, in Germany w y we're seeing loads and loads of new um, streaming services come in into the last, in the last 12 months. I think there's now seven or eight different companies that are operating. I'm hearing rumors that there's an, a new service in the works and it's, 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 it's a bit overwhelming really and we know that not all these companies are going to last. So w what's your take as a manager uh, when you see all these streaming services and also like not so great revenues coming yet from them personally i i tried a few streaming services i use spotify every day that's that's my source um knowing that 
at least I do something legal. Um, not that I anyway illegally used it, but I do something legal there, but I know that it doesn't make any money. Um, I think it is the future. I think the model isn't there yet. And I think so many open up in Germany because it's not decided who's the market leader yet. Um, there are some some of them who become the you know the bigger players and more inf uh, influential but when you see stats streaming in germany is two percent of the whole market it's next to nothing basically and um we're having bands we have a band from sweden called royal republic um where we started in sweden with a band and they had a platinum record in sweden um a big success on radio with that record as yeah. well um, and i see as a manager it doesn't build any fan base. Um, they go to Stockholm to tour and there will be f hardly 400, 500 people on the back of a platinum record. While in Germany, without streaming services by that time when we, when we did that song, um, and more or less the traditional way to market it, um, we're now selling two to 4,000 tickets a night. Yeah. So with that, my biggest fear with streaming only is that the whole fan connection disappears because people will only go for a song that's the whole setup and idea of a streaming service yeah, yeah, exactly. and that's uh, i guess that's why spotify i mean i had a chat with the labor relations of spotify uh, last week i think uh, and they they're really pushing the artist uh, pages mm -hmm. feature now so that artists can try and connect with the audience a bit more because because yeah. uh, that's important to them that, that it happens and, uh, and finally you know there's going to be a session in, in about five minutes here uh, on on gamer and you know of course it's a big controversy here in germany uh, because on the one side of course nobody's criticizing gamer for trying to get higher fees from youtube because uh, of course youtube is not paying a, a lot to artists uh, at the moment unless you're having a big hit uh, but on the other side of course it's a huge inconvenience for artists that are here in germany not to be able to monetize on the content that they have on the platform or not even to have it accessible so what, what what are your feelings as a manager on that it's a dilemma yeah um i i hate i use youtube as well uh, we don't even have vivo here because of the same problem um so youtube is the source and it's absolutely inconvenient because you can't see it we even have problems from our office to you know representing international bands to organize youtube for those bands because we don't have real access it's absolutely dreadful. On the other side, I think Gemma is doing the right thing yeah. because it can't be the way that there is a unit of content like an artist is or like a label is who delivers that content to a massive platform uh, and the platform makes money with it and the platform decides what the business model is with it because you have no chance to negotiate any kind of a business model with them. You just need to deliver it, you need to do the work yeah. and then you can get a share of what you own. Um, that's not the right approach. Yeah, sure. So we'll see what happens in the next few months. It's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Cool, great. Well, uh, uh, can you plug, do you want to plug your website and and uh, so that people can check out uh, the company and the bands that you manage as well? Absolutely. Go to www.odyssey-music.net. Oh, this great. is where you find everything. Uh, great. I'm sorry. I just wanted to also add uh, any campaign or bands that people should be checking out uh, that you're working on at the moment. Well, we're working on some amazing pledge music campaigns. Um, Go, everyone should definitely check out Pledge Music because it's, it's such an amazing system. While we mainly work for German Pledge Music campaigns, on an international approach you find domestic campaigns on the side all, all the time. Go find that, see that. It's absolute fun to follow it and be part of that thing. Great. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thank you.